Hi, thanks for taking a moment out of your day to practice yoga, to take care of your mind and your body and your spirit. This is gonna be a really um, gentle seated practice. So you don't need any props at all. When you're ready, you can find a seat on your mat. You don't even need your mat though. So just grab a seat and um, we'll get started. I am always practicing with pets. <laughs> so there's a cat tail right there and a dog back behind me. This is Milo and Honey on her heating pad. Once you find a comfortable seat, you can let the eyes close down. It might feel good to bring a hand to your heart or a hand to your belly. Just connecting with yourself for a moment, touching base with how you feel, how your body feels. And making note of any really strong emotions that might be present. Maybe there's been a, a dominant feeling for you the last throughout the day or the last few days or weeks or months. And then also just checking in with your mind, right? So what's going on mentally for you? If there's been a pattern of thinking or a specific thing or person or situation that's been on your mind. So really just doing that full check-in and welcoming all of that, making space for all of that in your practice. If your hands aren't already at your heart, you can bring them together, coming into Anjali Mudra, the thumbs resting against the breastbone and fingers pointing upward, palms connected. And then affirming that this practice be a way to take care of yourself, to nurture and nourish yourself so that you can show up as fully as possible for all the other parts and pieces of your life. Take a very deep breath into that, breathing in, filling up the belly, letting the chest expand, holding the breath at the top. And then purse your lips, slow exhale through the lips, pressing the breath out, emptying all of the way. Blink the eyes open by Milo, reach the arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, press the palms away from you, lift the crown of the head up as you root the sit bones down. So instead of lifting the chin here, see if you can lengthen through the crown of the head, extending through the spine. Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, release the fingers, bend the elbows, go ahead and lift the chin up. So we'll move with the breath like that a couple times. Inhale, reach the arms up, stretch through the side body and the underarms. Exhale, bend the elbows, draw the shoulders behind the heart space. Up two more here, nice and smooth with your breath. Once more. Pause with the elbows bent, lift the chin as much as is comfortable, never forcing anything, Just stretching through the front of the throat there. Take the arms up overhead one more time here, breathe in. We're gonna take a, a twist to the right. So you can bring the left fingers toward the right knee or the right thigh. The right fingertips tend them back behind you. So instead of leaning into the right hand, come up onto the tips of the fingers. Take a couple deep breaths here, continuing to lift the sternum and the crown of the head. Use the exhale to find a little bit more depth to the twist, if that feels good. On your next breath in, reach the arms up through the center, big stretch to the side body, and then we'll take the twist to the left. So right fingers, left knee, left fingers tended back behind you. Lengthen the spine, breathe in, and then rotate as you exhale. And notice if the shoulders are squeezing up into the ears, see if you can put some space between the shoulders and the earlobes. Arms up through the center, big stretch to the side body on the inhale. We'll take a side bend. So drop the right fingers outside of the right hip and then stretch the left arm up and over. We'll take a couple deep breaths here. Keep rooting down to the left sit bone if you can. 
going to maybe want to kind of peel up. See if you can drive the left sit bone down so you feel stable. And then maybe walk the right hand out a little bit more, perhaps even dropping on to the right forearm. A nice variation. You can stretch if that feels really good through the side body. You might play with that for a breath or two. A really nice variation is to bend the top elbow as well so that you've got that space through the side of your neck. Deep breath here. Come back to the center on your exhale. Nice, reach the arms up overhead, breathe in. And then take that side bend to the left. Start with the fingers tented and the right sit bone rooting down just as much as the left. And then maybe just check in with your body, right? Not forcing, not pushing, but maybe walking the left hand out, maybe bending the left elbow. Playing with the right side stretch. Check out if it feels really good to keep the right arm on and reaching, energy shooting to the fingers, or if it feels a little bit better to bend the top elbow. And maybe you can get a little bit of a rotation, kind of twisting upward toward the ceiling here. One more long breath in. Come back to the center on your exhale and then shrug the shoulders into your ears. Breathe in. Release the shoulders down your back. Nice, lock the fingers back behind you. You're gonna bend the knees. Put a lot of space between the feet. So I've got my feet all the way at the edges of the mat. And then walk the hands up so that you feel steady. Fingertips are pointing forward usually, the thumbs are pointing in. Figure out what works best with your wrists and your elbows. You wanna keep the elbows drawing toward one another instead of letting the elbows splay open. Pull them toward one another as if someone's kind of guiding them from back behind you. And then just gently drop the knees side to side. So the windshield wipering the knees. Totally okay to let the hips lift here. So the pelvis is involved in that movement. A little bit of energy through the core as you come through the center. Lift the chest, reach the arms up, breathe in. And then bring your hands to your shins, round the back, let the head drop. So your head is towards the knees, maybe it's between the knees. Maybe it feels good to walk the feet together and then rest the forehead on the knees. And reach for the opposite elbows outside of your shins. Do what feels best in this shape, just feeling into that flexion in the back. Sending the back of your heart back as you drop the chin in toward the chest. And when you're ready, lift the head, roll the shoulders down the back. We're gonna go real slow here. Come up onto your heels. Keep the back rounded. So roll the shoulders over the rib cage, over the abdomen, and then start to roll it all the way back onto your back. Once your shoulders hit and your head hits, reach the arms up, press the feet down underneath the knees, and then turn the palms away from you as if you've got a tray above your head. So you're just pressing the palms away from you, stretching out through the wrist, maybe reaching the right hand to catch the left fingers and just kind of feel into the stretch to the inside of the left wrist and the left forearm. And then switch sides. Really thinking like gentle here, but breathing. And then go ahead and bring the arms up, rotate the wrist a few times. The arms a big stretch back over your head, press your feet into the mat, take a deep breath in. Then as you exhale, grab the right knee, hug the right shin, interlacing your fingers around that shin. Be here for a few breaths. You can kind of try and angle the right knee toward the right armpit so that your rib cage and torso aren't in the way of that stretch. Stay here or stretch the left leg out in front of you. With or without the left leg stretching, reach the right leg up toward the ceiling, interlacing your fingers behind the right thigh or the right knee, and then just check in with the right foot. You can rotate the ankle or point and flex the foot. Find whatever movement feels good here. 
So maybe no movement feels good, right? So maybe it just feels good to hold the leg in place and feel into the stretch. If your left leg is stretched out, re-bend the knee, slide the foot underneath the knee, and then guide the right foot into your figure four. So right foot comes over the top of the left thigh. And then stay right here. This is a really great option. Let the right knee move away from the body. So there's kind of this heaviness through the right knee. Feel the outside edge of your right hip and thighs, bringing some awareness toward that IT band, so that lateral edge of the right hip and thigh. If you don't feel much of a stretch here, you can reach behind for the left hamstring, and without letting the right knee collapse, pull the left thigh toward your body. You should feel something in the outer edge of the right hip and thigh at that point. If you still don't, you might reach for the left shin, keep squeezing, the tailbone might lift up a little bit. Just gentle, gentle, gentle in your effort, in your intention. And then just breathe into the stretch for a few breaths. And see if you can let go of any muscular tension and just allow kind of the softening through the tissues, let the muscle kind of fall away from the bone. Allow your connective tissue to get involved in the stretch. Really healthy for the joints and the fascia, ligaments, the tendons. If you caught the left shin or the left hamstring, gently set the left foot back down. You're still in this figure four stretch. We're gonna take a twist. So what will happen is your legs will kind of drop to the left. So the sole of the right foot is going to float down outside of your mat to the left. You can reach your left hand to catch the right ankle and kind of guide that into place. Extend the right arm as you breathe in and then rotate the chin toward the right shoulder. Or if that feels weird in your neck, keep your nose pointed straight up. This starts to feel like a really big pull on the knee or the hip. You can allow the right knee to kind of fall in toward the chest a little bit. And take one more deep breath here. And then as you exhale, come back through the center, step the right foot down, slowly windshield wipe for the knees, and then start to stretch the legs out in front of you. So just give the knees, the hips a little break. Point the toes, flex the feet. You feel any difference between the right leg and the left leg. You might feel a different kind of quality of energy in the right lower body. And you might not. Either way, just just checking in, just noticing. Step the feet down underneath the knees. We'll move to that on the other side. Inhale your arms overhead. Catch the left shin this time. Gentle as you guide the leg just outside of the left rib cage. Keep the right foot on the mat, or you can just stretch the right leg out in front of you. Left leg extends, reach behind for the left knee or the left hamstring. If it feels good to find some movement with the top ankle or pointing and flexing the top foot. About three deep breaths. Notice if you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself, it's always okay to soft bend the knee or deep bend the knee. If the right leg is straight, slide the right foot down underneath the right knee and then set up your figure four, guiding the left foot into place. First option, really great. Just feel the outside edge of the left hip and thigh. Notice the sensation there. Notice if it feels meaningful for the body. If you don't feel much of a stretch, that's when you reach behind for the right hamstring or for the right shin. 
Think about being really friendly with your body here as we find some spaciousness through the pelvis and the left thigh. Take a couple more deep breaths here. Remembering that intention to really allow this practice to be a form of self-care, a form of connection, or whatever else it is that you feel like you need from this time on your mat. If the right foot is lifted, gently release the right foot down. We're going to add in that twist. So the left foot's going to float to the right. Pay close attention to the left knee and the left hip. If it feels like too much, just let the knee fall inward a little bit. Still get a really great twist. Otherwise, you can reach your right hand to catch the left ankle and guide that foot into place. Extend the left arm, deep breath in. As you exhale, nod your chin toward the left or keep your nose pointed straight up. Allow the breath to move deep into your low belly here, maybe down into your lower back, into the back side of your lungs. Come through the center. Give both of your legs a little squeeze in toward your chest. Get a hold of your kneecaps with your palms. Take a couple little circles around the sacrum going in both directions, clockwise for a few circles, counterclockwise for a few, just a little self-massage. One leg at a time, step the feet down and then extend one leg at a time, reaching the heels toward the top edges of your yoga mat. Reach the arms up over your head, or if you're not on a mat, stretching a little bit wider than hips distance through the feet, right? Breathe in, one last really deep breath, big full body stretch. Hold the breath just for a moment at the top. Pursed lips, exhale slowly. In the arms to the sides, letting the palms face upright. Then press the back of the head down into the mat a little bit or the floor and shimmy your shoulder blades underneath you a little bit more so that the heart is lifted before you rest back down onto the upper back. Let the eyes close. Bring your awareness through your body, just noticing any sensations that arise. And see if you can relax the eyes, the mouth and the jaw, the sides of the neck, Sink into the shoulders, letting the chest relax and the belly soften and settle. Relax the hips, the thighs, the knees, lower legs, ankles, and feet. You have a little time to stay in Shavasana, always encourage that. Otherwise, bring some awareness into the tips of the fingers and the tips of the toes. Find a little bit of movement, whatever way feels good, nodding the head side to side, wiggling the fingers. Taking your time to shift from your back up to a seat, landing right back where we started. Bringing the hands to the heart center, back into Anjali Mudra. And breathing that affirmation back in, right? Really allowing this practice to settle into your mind and your body and your soul to nourish you through all of those layers. Thanks for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. Take care of yourself. <laughs>